Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play series of Atom RPG. Right now we are in the very inner city, no, the, the inner inner city of Krasnozamenia, or KRZ as we call it abbreviatedly. And it's time, I suppose, that we go to Chamber, Com Chamber of Commerce and see what we can do here. So, we have already talked with some interesting people in other places. And now let's see what we got here. This is... This looks like a police. I think this, uh, this stands for police. Although in Russia, police is... Uh, a police is not called police, it's called militia. So here we go. So we, got, we have somebody behind the bars. We don't want to have anything to do with this fella. Oh, let's do a quick save. Actually, let's do a full save just in case, and we'll go do it here. Let's see, maybe we can rob these, take all, okay, nobody's, nobody sees us. Locked. Can we try and unlock it? Or can't break the lock? Okay, Fidel is in, is in our way. <laughs> Hello there, now, comrade police officer. Oh, look at that face. A short-tempered middle-aged man in a relatively new uniform bulges his eyes, strewn with bloody streaks at you. I love these descriptions. It's just awesome. His nostrils flaring vehemently when he realizes you want to talk to him. What the hell you want? I've long, I've long since lost count how many men I keep here to patrol the streets, but no, you're coming here in scores anyway. What is it? What will respectable citizen charge the chief of police with instead of turning to one of his subordinates? Got bitten by a mimic? Mother-in-law took all your money, the TV set died. <laughs> Oh, look, Kumla Cheese, haven't seen you at my place for a while, decided to pay you a visit. Hey, hey. Uh, are you suggesting I should start drinking? I'm intoxicated with this life already so much I'm sick of it. Um, I just wanted to talk. The man silently takes a hard ceramic mug full of steaming hot coffee in his hand, raises it, squints one eye, looks at you, assumes a comfortable position to throw it, sighs and turns the mug back to its place. Okay. I'm not a monster. I understand why my idiot assistants weren't of any help in this case. What can I ask of them? But still, what chat with civil uh, officials at all? Why chat? Are there, uh, aren't there enough old women outside or gossipers, chatty crones? What do you need from me? Well, we could introduce ourselves. My name is Sergei, Sergei Ivanovich. Sergei Ivanovich Streletsky. Happy now? Nice meeting you. Other questions? Uh, how would you like a job? Uh, I love it. It's fine. I'm happy you found it. Okay. What can you tell me about KRZ? Nothing. I can't tell you anything about KRZ. The one constantly being told about KRZ dozens of times per day, every day, about the things that are wrong in the city. Terrible other question. Good rumors. Do you have any ideas how many tips and anonymous letters I receive every day? Do you really think I'm willing to hear any rumors after that? Go talk to the old crones outside. They will tell you more rumors than you've asked for. Go on, out. Uh, maybe later I want to ask you some questions first. <laughs> okay, let's change the subject. It's not good for your health being all that nervous. I'm here to complain about one of your subordinates. Ah, he stops you in written form. Uh, it's so complicated change. It's not good for your health to be so nervous. Oh, but thank you, Doc. Who would have thought? Thank you for your kind advice. I'll do my best to take care of myself and my nerves. Okay. I can show you anti-stress exercise. No, get the hell away. <laughs> get the hell off here, you filthy yogi. Okay, well, it didn't work. Let's change something else. I have business to discuss. Yeah, the streets of KRZ unthrodden up. People don't understand where the lawn ends and the rule begins. We need to hire someone who will be loafing around doing nothing, thus solving this terrible problem. Oh, uh, wait, are you indeed a mercenary? 
Since autumn, I'm interested in the head of brainless baby butcher. Baby butcher? Oh, from the cohort Kings of the Matriarchy. Reason stealing people for ransom close to the place called Fogelevka. Okay, I'll accept the task. Great, not many people willing to care of people like this. Come back, brainless baby butcher. Brainless baby butcher, what a nickname to have. What a world do we live in? I expect to hear you from in day in four days. Don't be like other people in my life. Don't let me down. Okay. Um, nah, I better go. So we have a quest from this fella. Can we open this? No, guess not. You know what? I've had enough. I'm gonna do a quick save and I'm gonna do this lock picking and just invest everything in lock picking. And if I don't get anything neat here, I'll go crazy. Like, really crazy. Fail to break the lock? Come on. Okay. Okay, not bad, not bad. Unlock. 10 experience points. Okay, that's not that good. Unlock. Failed, again. You broke the lock, okay. Molotov cocktail, well that's cool. Approaching uh, to the point of being Okay, that's good. Cassette, alright. Is there anything else here? I wonder if we go here and try to pick lockpick this thingy, if he's going to complain. Okay, I guess he doesn't pay any attention. We'll take everything. Ah, but no weapons, nothing. Okay, we are encumbered once again. Let's switch this to Fidel, and that's about it. Continue. How are you feeling? Take a pill. Oh, here's the thing. Uh, if I remember correctly, they cannot be... Uh, they don't have any problems with being... Uh, getting addicted or something. Let's just see... Oh, wait. No, encumbered. All right. Cool. Good. I should actually save Kasparmid for him. So what is it with this guy? Short man walks to and fro to and fro in the dark cell. As he notices you, he waddles closer, talks to you in lispy, howling voice. You're not sure if you should uh, answer him at all. They torture me here. How did you not be me, man? Huh? I'm accused of treating the Black Lotus, yeah? Well, how long are you going to remain here? Why, it's already time to go. Shit, even prison can't stay at your pleasure. <laughs> how do you end up here? What? Well, enjoy your stay, whatever. Pointless discussion. Oh, there's a basement, right? But doesn't do anything, I guess. All right. Okay, this could be... This could be an armory. Let's see. Uh, let's hope so. Oh, it definitely looks like one. Ah, awesome. The black-haired bearded man in leather jacket lovingly cleans AK parts. As he does so, he whistles an unfamiliar tune and looks as if he's head over heels in what he's doing. Attention, try following his movements. You follow the man's movements to the best of your abilities. The way he cleans the weapon parts has a hidden system and you seem to recognize it. Intellect, try to figure out his methods. Ah, come on. You don't get it. He notices he you're watching and moves the rifle past to the side. Do I sense a lover of fine guns? Great, I've got the best stuff in the waste. You'll never find those babies anywhere else. Oh, great, show me what you got. Oi, 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 oh my, OMG. This is so amazing. This is Scorpion. So double shot, sort of shotgun, double barrel. There's an AK. This is uh, uh yeah, the 74. 
This is cool. This looks like Mosin Nagant. Yeah, it is. This is amazing. Cool. But I guess we will. Hmm. You know what? You know what? Change my mind. Bye. Just do a quick. Quick. It would be so awesome. Imagine this. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we should invest in pickpocketing. And I wonder how much. Definitely the next character I'm creating is going to be a thief. Let's see if we can open this up. No, we're not interested in this. Locked. Is he going to complain? Don't try to steal anything. All right, I'm trying to be inconspicuous but this is so much money make me start by talking tell me about yourself friend captain second rank ussr marine corps infiltrator military scuba diver and air weapons expert well and a trader nowadays although not just some trader my little connections get me get the best stuff around i'm honored to speak with you captain can i ask you something else how authorities look at your business how all uh, authorities look at unregulated arms trade. If you know the right people, they just look away. That's where does that, I suppose. Let me ask something else. Any advice on weaponry? Uh, you look like a capable sort of fellow. Not as capable as my old compadre, Major Pron, but still, I doubt I can teach you anything. Ooh, five points. <laughs> I love this game. Fine, maybe you didn't know this one. When you're shooting an MG, try screaming as loud as you can. Keeps your ears from popping due to the noise of the shots. Ah, right, cool. Thanks for that. Let me ask you a question. Inquisitiveness sure is a virtue. Rumors. Abraham, okay. Change my mind. Can we switch topic? Can we barter? No. Let's see again what we could use, but I don't think we can. Ha we can. Do we are not. We won't get lucky with anything. Where are? The, how much money do we have? Two thousand rubles. Is a TT pistol. That's cool. Let's see what Fidel has. Just a second. Yeah, I'll get back to you. Bye. Fidel has. It's a Makarov five twelve. And Rusty Nagant, that's also okay, not bad. Five, five, four, seven, mm -hmm. three, four, three, three, four, two. Yeah, the 75 rifles, hunting rifle. Is this a. This 545 ammo? Now let's let's just go to M and go at seventeen. Okay, we'll get him up to fifty three and see how that is going to work out for him. Let's just save here. Check out the bartering again. Uh, this is this rifle. So SKS, it does 76239. 76239. This is the 94. Okay, full metal jacket. This is it. This is so freaking expensive. Damn it. Look at this. This tire armor. Ah, damn, damn, damn. Okay. Let's get this, this crap that we have right here out of our way. Old hunting rifle, this too, this too, should be an easier thing to run around. Four rubles, that's it, this too, get it out of the system. 44, what else, tinfoil hat. 9.2 ammo. Coffee. Hmm. Let's 
So there we go. Please, let's do that one. Do we have any of these 42 kilos? Hmm. There's probably way and ways and means to actually sell stuff uh, to... how should I put it? Hmm. That some people are going to appreciate coffee more than other people. But I cannot figure out... Oh, that might be... Okay, let's go with this sale once again. Nope. Wait, that's not... That's money. I always mix the money with the, with the waste paper, which is kind of silly, but... Yeah, let's do this for the time being, and... What's this? Okay, let's go here. This is a a bar. It's a restaurant. Well, kind of. The word that says is Gostionica, if I'm not mistaken, and means basically, well, a place where you um, provide um, well, like guest place, because ghost means guest. So there, there we have it. What's with you, fella? Uh, yeah, Solomon with the mousy mustache. Yeah, the Oak City Hotel. I'm looking for a room. Yeah, I could do with some 600 minutes of time. <laughs> I can have a nap outside. Yeah, you can. When you're getting hungry. Oh, oh. Okay. You risk getting hungry outside the hotel. I could do with a nap, that's not bad. First, I would like to ask a couple of questions. Okay, ask her what's life in the city? Tolerable? I don't think so. Life is karaziri, spoonful of jam with a fly stuck in it. <laughs> okay, that's a really sad story. I wouldn't recommend eating it. Okay, it sounds quite pessimistic. He does look pessimistic, in case you were wondering. Yeah, he is. How did you end up a hotel owner? Why so sad? Ay, ay, ay. It just doesn't... Why are these people... Any rumors? Famous mutant hunter Rivlin from Silesia. He has a magazine of silver bullets for mutants and simple lead bullets for gangsters raiders. Must be an interesting person, that one. Oh, sounds like a tough guy. Let me ask you something else. Let's see if we can barter something interesting. He has money. This thing is good. I don't run into cucumbers often enough, so we'll just take it. Let's see, what can I pass on to him? I'll give him this and watches. Oh, a ski, a ski hat. That's an interesting thing. I give him a toadstool. Yep, there we go. Oh, tinfoil hat. I just need to get rid of all this trash that I'm Falling around. Oh, this is it. Perfect. So, let's change the subject. Thinking about booking a room. Okay, I changed my mind. Let's take it one step back. Alright. Um, mm -hmm. I know there will be some, there should be some quests here. But not quite certain what, how, where, and... Now let's go to Chamber of Commerce. Barefoot ladies. You'll catch death if you continue like that. Oh, where could... Wait, 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 wait what? Okay. I guess we have... Um, Where are you? These posters are awesome. 
Oh, this is cinema. Okay. Okay, looks neat. Now, is this the chamber? It's kind of, it looks like a, a, a huge building. Wait, this was a... We were here, right? No? We weren't. It's just not a building, but it's not any specific. Okay. Why are you sneaking up on me, darling? What do you want? Nothing much. Just trying to figure out what's going on here. Dark times upon us. My neighbor Rolf is feeling the great. He's laying in bed all day, sleeping and feeding him. That's just weird. What do you know about the city? Nice city, so clean. Yada yada. So we're going here. Okay. Do you know any good gossip? Oh, what kind of gossip can there be? Someone fell ill, our prices have gone up, we have other things to do, we old people have no time for... Old people have only time for gossip, what the hell are you talking about? Uh, what do you know about the city? Well, I'll see you soon. Okay, let's see, maybe we can fix this guy? The man pays no attention to you as if he's being cursed. What? You see, a sick man. Talk. Okay, he doesn't want to talk. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of the dodge. This is not a highly interesting place for us. Oh, hello, baby. This is... This is a chamber of... What the hell is this? Okay, that's a neat suit. Hello? Yes, somebody is... <laughs> is this a... Oh, wait. Is this Lenin? Yeah, it certainly looks like Lenin. Come on, where's our guy? Run over there, come on. There we go. Uh, we can't read anything, I guess, but... What's with this guy? This could be interesting. You see a man wearing a shiny silver unitard, as well as a queer helmet that has a metallic chicken waddle of some kind on the top. As a man's past you, he jumps up, his, hits himself in the chest, shows you the palm of his hand, and moves his index and middle of fingers as far apart as able. Strings are the chain. Oh, he is doing the Vulcan greeting, I guess. Okay, okay. Zhang Zhang, Bioform, my designation is under P603, or how people in your timeline like to say, Howdy, Comrade Communist, my name is Zander P603. Nice to meet you, Zander P604, they call me Vlad. That means my calculations were correct, unimportant historical figure Vlad. This temporal projection asks you for help in a moment of need. The recent future where I'm from is in danger and only you can help history go on a more noble path. Only you can save the world, yes. Okay. I beg you to listen to my words. We scientists use all of the energy of our experimental time machine to send me here. <laughs> we won't have a second chance. Okay. Um, fine, tell me what I need to, save the future, yada yada yada. In the name of Holy Bolt Boy, the first robotic saint, I am so glad you decided to hear me out. Now, person from the past, know this, in less than half a century from now, a small part of humanity will rise from the atomic ashes. It will then create a technically advanced futuristic utopia far away from here in the mountains. That won't mean a happy ending for everyone, though. Some people still struggle in the wild eastern wastes. We also share a border with a country whose people became a single hive mind organism. And there's this terrible menace I'd rather not talk about today. And also, what the hell are you rambling about? Also, terrible bloody dictator and tyrant conquered my amazing country right after it became violence free utopia. The name of this disgusting, sadistic, all-powerful god king is Ilya Kuznetsov, the ruler of heaven, earth, and the nine hells. Okay, okay. They made you serial number. Uh -huh. Oh, they made us use serial number self last names as if for cattle. They also changed our first name into silly, made up abominations such as Xander or Beatrothron. Oh my god, he made the population walk on their knees begging for food. Also, to fight our urge to resist, he created a law of obligatory medicinal crime prevention beatings. OMCPB. Okay. 
A special social worker has to slap every citizen of our country in the face at least once, for no reason. <laughs> ah, and sometimes the social worker hits you with the backside of the hand, and some of them are married, so they have metal rings on their fingers, so they slap you even, slap you even harder. Uh, and some of even have fingers off on all of their fingers since we are polyamorous society. Oh boy, life is tough. How can I help you know the people future? Well, learning the biography of the mighty and terrible god king, the modern dictator Ilya Kuznetsov is obligatory for all. So everyone knows the exact date his parents decided to have a child happen this year in terrible circus filled with mutants. Oh, I know where that circus is. That one may find near here. Please, friend, people of the future beg you. Find the tyrant's parents and make them hate the idea of having kids. Don't let the monstrous Ilya Kuznetsov be born. Okay, sounds, sounds like a plan. Uh... If I kill them both, should that help? I forgot that in your wild times, violence was the answer for everything. If you're cold blood enough to murder two people, do as you please. But it would be so much better if you just persuaded them. Uh, what will I get for this job? Oh, you're going to love that part. Oh, I'm willing to pay you one million in your timeline's currency. Yes, you heard right. A whole million, maybe even more. Oh boy. Oh god. <clears throat> Sorry. Now that sounds really good. I'll try to help you out. See, see, yeah, what, I don't believe that I'll ever see that money, but yeah, it's okay. I, I got the quest log. Turgovor Palata. Like, uh, it's actually a traitor's palace. Good lord. So, what is this? Is this a god? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. God, tell me about your work. Yeah, oh God, come on. I feel... I, I feel... I just feel the need to simply get the hell out of here. And everybody talks too much. Fancy a chat. Oh God, no. I'm really... So, I don't want to drag the, the, the dialogues here too much, but, you know, spending, yeah, like, hours, it's just, uh, yeah, chatting, 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 let, give me, um, this should, it gets, it grows old, I want to go and do some decent quests, uh, so, tell me about, okay. Okay, looks like a nightmare. Any interesting rumors? Wait a minute. Okay. Okay, that's it. Where is that main guy that we need to talk to? How long have you been following me? Are you a student? No, I'm not a student. Do you have anything to trade? No, you don't. I ask you some questions. This looks like a Wizened version of Stephen King, I would say. Unless you're looking for my advice, I'm afraid I will need to charge you. Aren't you getting retirement money? Well, it's a not a hard no, of course, because a man named Maslow in his time secured payment of retirement for the veterans of this world's last war. However, the veteran workers of intellectual labor are invisible to the fine gentlemen in the Chamber of Commerce. Of course, there were times I received very pleasant monetary compensation from the Chamber of Commerce for giving lectures and proper care for the ventilation locks in their bunker. Oh, that sounds interesting. I'm an engineer, yada yada yada. Irrigation pub. Gossip? I'm not a gossip. Probability legendary organization Atom being released is close to 99%. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to tell him that I'm one of Atom agents and he wouldn't believe me. Probably not. I ask you some questions. Uh, let's change the topic. You're counting something. Tadeusz Petrovich Karabloklov at your service, young man. Not gonna lie, it's been over 20 years now since I've been a professor 
Nowadays, I'm just a simple man who lives out his days with his wife Rita from time to time, providing advice to, to quote the other words from Alexander Pushkin, a young and familiar tribe on Varan's technical issues. This is like the uh, 60 second elevator pitch. Who are you? I am this man doing this, or living with my wife, and we're doing that. Okay. Uh, kind of shame that you cannot share your wisdom. I have plans to write a number of textbooks for the future generation, but constantly distracted by all these consulting jobs. I need to take it all to feed my small family. Do you think you could have written all these textbooks if someone was to say finance your work? Well, that sounds interesting. Okay, 10,000 rubles. Well, you know what? I'm gonna sponsor your work. I'll prove you wrong. We should get going. So basically, we are going to uh, invest into this good man's uh, textbook. Uh, probably it's going to give us a ton of um, experience. Okay, snatch more stuff when nobody's looking. There's nothing here. All right, get out! Get out of my way, dog! Oh, all right. So let's see who this fella is. Maybe he is interesting to us. Oh, wait. Lockers. Yay. Locked. But we can unlock them all. Oh, oh okay. Oh, sorry. 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 Sorry, I will not see anything. You saw. Oh. A pretty lady. Hello, pretty lady. In front of you stands a woman in a wide-brimmed hat and a washed-out shirt. She stares in the distant little dreamily, which clearly signifies a longing for adventures. Hey, we have place in our merry little band. Come on, will you join us? She gives you a short nod when she sees you. Hello there. Welcome to Krasnus Mania. KRZ. Alright, good day to you too. Can I ask a couple of questions? Sir. Well, I suppose I could answer some of your question, sir. Far away. Is there anything interesting in the city in the way of entertainment? Ah, well, from time to time, pay a visit to suburban tavern. You can also go to the local casino, play dice, and have a drink or two. The video theater and Abraham Bookshop offer food for your soul, but ah, uh, if carnal pleasures interested you more, there's a real brothel in the city. Uh, thank for your advice. Can I ask a question? What do you do? Look like an adventurer. Is it so obvious? Well, you're right, Riley. Before settling KRZ, I herded cows along a dangerous route through the mountain pass of Voz, Fogelevka, to Otranoa, and beyond. To the northeastern regions of the wasteland. Many of these local residents fear them like a plague, but let me tell you this. There are no pastures greener and bigger for cows than in those unfriendly lands. What made you settle in KRZ? Okay, family issues. The thing is, father, my six sister, and I are one of the biggest herds in our part of the wasteland. We needed someone KRZ to sort out bureaucratic formalities. Shite, I have never... I have nothing against the comfort of the city, but sometimes I regret I can't just deal with these red tapers the way I dealt with gangsters in the eastern steppes. And the woman snatches her shining revolver out of the holster, twists it in her fingers adroitly. What kind of word is that, adroitly? And pushes back, grinning. Oh, personality. Wow, could you teach me this trick? Nope, guess not. No, sorry, it's a family now. Oh, come on. Can I ask you some other questions? Interesting rumors. Uh, ba ba ba. Rumor far in the mountains of the west, there might still be remains some missile warheads left after the war. I don't wanna. Go there. Yeah, well, it's an interesting place. Uh, is there a place in the city where adventure could find a good job? Honestly, I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure such places exist. The wasteland doesn't like people who are in a hurry or don't pay necessary attention to the world, so look around and follow your curiosity and brains, then you'll find a job even in the least likely places. I appreciate your advice. I have another question. Okay, let's see if she has anything to barter. No nope, four rubles on her, and that's it. 
All right, okay, it's time for me to go. Arrivederci. That's it. So I don't know if she is any useful to us for a future reference, but we'll see. And speaking of future, future references, this episode has also come to its fruition, its closure. Thank you very much for watching this, and I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next episode. See you soon. Bye-bye.